Hello. I think I'm live. I'm not certain about the technology here, but if you are tuned in to Facebook at uh, Science the Center for Spiritual Living Pleasant Valley, then you are watching me and we are here collected together on the online apparatus of Facebook. But I've got to go forth assuming that that's the case. What I want to say is, so my name is Buzz Noe. I'm one of the practitioners at the Center for Spiritual Living, Pleasant Valley, and happy to be here tonight to talk about the circumstances as we do with our midweek spiritual uplift, which is what this is. It just takes this brief moment in time here in the middle of the week to talk about where we are, where we're going, and what's going on a little bit and put our consciousness into that area that we feel is the strongest way to be in our teaching science of mind. And as we know, the election results are not fully complete, but that's what I wanted to discuss since I'm sure that's on everyone's mind. There's no absolute on how that's going to go. And so we're going to end up regardless of how it goes, some of us in this country will be very happy about what happened. Some of us will be disappointed. And that situation comes up a lot in our lives, as you know. I've got to fix my hair here a little bit. And one of the important things that we want to focus on in our teaching and in our lives is the idea of keeping that mindset positive. That's why my title for tonight is what do you want? And these things are where, this is where we should always put our mental focus, our consciousness. What do we want to see in this life? And get away from that idea of, oh, I don't want this to happen. I don't want that to happen. Because there's several things involved, but one of them is certainly that our mind, our consciousness is going out into the universe and creating things. It's manifesting an alteration in the universe. Now, this is not just part of our spiritual teaching, although it's a big part of it, as was brought forth by uh, Dr. Ernest Holmes, the founder of Science of Mind, who right away saw that we're, the, our thoughts, our words, our actions, our deeds are creating an alteration in the universe, uh, in the world in which we live. And so we should always keep those uh, those thoughts uplifted and manifested in a positive way for a couple of reasons. But one of them is, and I, I always like to do an analytical look at spiritual teachings and see if it makes sense in the process of the world we live in. And one of the things to keep in mind is that the manifestation of life around us, what's going on in the universe, the weather and everything else, is mostly a result of electromagnetic energy. It's creating these things that are taking place. Gravity is working, the wind, the waves, these are all uh, put into place by what's called electromagnetic energy. One of the things scientifically about electromagnetic energy is that it is altered by any input of any kind of electrical energy. And one of the things that I've done in, in studying life is the realization that your mind is literally putting out an energy field. When you think, when you're just in being, there's an energy field going forth from you. And that energy field is creating an alteration in the electromagnetic energy field that creates life that we live in. So now that's an absolute, your thinking is creating an alteration. This is where we come to the title that we're talking about today. What do you want? Let's put that mind, let's put that alteration out there in the direction that we want to see happen, not which we don't want to see happen. That's why it's better to love something and profess that you are happy to see this occur as opposed to disappointment and distress and anger that this happened instead of that happened. Because 
remember, your mind is putting that alteration out there. So if you don't want a rainy day, but you have that in your mind, oh, I don't want a rainy day, there's a much more chance of a rainy day manifesting than if you go around saying, I love a sunny day. I really like a sunny day. I know this is going to be a sunny day. That positive energy is going to have much more effect on that electromagnetic energy field and bring forth that sunny day than distress about a rainy or a cloudy day. And this happens with everything that we do and don't want. So once again, back to the election, I know that some of us wanted this and some of us wanted that. Either way, we're going to be very happy that we saw manifest the thing we wanted or disappointed, distressed, stressed that it didn't. But this is where we have to stop. And this is what our founder and what our teaching says, stop right there and put that mind into a different focus. Okay, this is where is life. Now, what do we want to see in this life? What do we want to occur out of what is going on right now? And that is where your mindset is going to have much more of an ability to create that energy change, that alteration, to bring things the way you want them as a way, as opposed to the way you don't want them. And there's uh, many, many things that are involved in this, this concept because everything in life, I, I'm from, I went to Pennsylvania State University. I saw Penn State play Ohio State. I certainly wanted Penn State to win. They certainly didn't. So rather than going, oh, that's too bad, they, they lose and then start to think, well, they may not have a chance next time, they may have. My mind is right away with, hey, they will learn the lesson from this game. They're going to make the changes they need to, and we're going to go on and win the next game. Because will I be able to make Penn State win the game? I don't know, but it has a lot more chance of having that occur in my life and manifesting for me than if I went, oh, they're never going to do this and stuff like that. And this is where we need to go from this election. It's going to happen the way it's going to happen. Just keep that mind on the things that you want to occur and what you want to see f bring forth and manifest in the life rather than what you don't or the depression or the stress that you have from what did occur. And the other thing that we want to bring forth into your mind and keep in mind is bring forth those that those ideas, those thoughts, those concepts of what you want to happen, motivated by love, appreciation, generosity, compassion, caring for the rest of humanity, the rest of the world, and all of it that is part of this world that we're in. And that is where we are now in a direct communication with God. Because you have to understand uh, the infinity that is God is what is manifesting what's going on in the world at any given time. And that manifestation of what is happening is moving life forward. Now, life is a lot more involved than just us humans. We're part of life, but we are not life. And so things like these fires that happened over the fact this just all this year and last few years, forest fires burning out a lot of things and causing us humans to have to move out of the way, actually were put into place, manifested to help nature rebirth uh, get back into place. More trees will grow where there were ones that were now dead and burning. So life is continuing forward in a positive direction, regardless of how we see it. And we just have to put our mindsets in that same idea, that same direction. This is happening for our better good. This is the fires are happening to rebuild nature and the forest that we love. And nature, in fact, is a real good place to go out and get into touch, get in touch with life and how it's going. Because our human situation can kind of rise or fall depending upon what's going on. But nature is always going to be there and always express the beauty and the perfection that we see in life or that we want to see in life. We want to have manifested in life. Uh, Lynn and I were just at Lake Kachuma and enthralled and enrolled in nature and getting into that situation, regardless of what's going on with the election and these things, the politics that are life. Here is nature in its perfection 
And it really does well to get in tune with that and know that it is always there for you, always there for us as humans. We're part of life, we're part of nature. We all can move forward together. So once again, it's it's keeping those thoughts positive, focused on what you want. I had some other notes here. And that is going to have that much more of a chance for the things that you want to see in life manifest than not. Now, I do want to bring forth a note of caution because you don't want to express what you want to be something that's going against the the positive direction of life. You don't want want to see people fail. You don't want to see things occur in a negative way. Do not want those because that is just not going to be the message that we want to bring forth. That's not going to improve our lives, your life or anyone else's to want anything negative to occur for any particular reason. Instead, want the positive things want the things that you would most desire that are going to bring forth that feeling of love, appreciation, cherishment, and treasure that life can be. If you focus on that, you're going to have that much more chance of that occurring. Now, will it occur? Well, this is another little aspect of our human situation that we have to keep in mind. Life is infinite. God is infinite. The universe is infinite. There is no time set for that. You know, we humans have tomorrow and next week and next month. We'd like to see things occur in that time frame. In the universe, it's infinite. There's no such thing as a week and a month and a day. So if you put something into your mindset that you want to occur next week and it takes 10 years to get there, in the universe, that is just as much of a manifestation of your thoughts and consciousness as if it occurred next week. So keep in mind, keep that mindset that it's in there, it's what you want, and it's going to occur. You can put a time limit on it, but just know that it has the opportunity to be there at some point in time, regardless of where it is in your particular life. So once again, keep that thought process on the side of what you want to see, on the side of the positive growth aspects of life, not the negative ones, not the down and out ones that we sometimes go there in our human situation. If you see yourself there, if you see yourself in anger, in distress about what's going on, just stop. Know that somewhere in this is a gift. And as you know, it is a gift that is going to manifest that gift much more readily than knowing it's a curse, knowing that this is the worst thing that could ever happen, which is going to add to the manifestation of that. So that's the simple message. Stay positive, keep those thoughts positive, keep that mindset directed on the things that you would want to see based upon, again, love and unity, harmony, compassion, caring. Keep those ideas, your heart in your mind, keep your mind focused on what you want to see happen in life. And you are going to stand a much more, a much better chance of that taking place and being there than if you go the other way, angered, distressed, down and out about where you are and what's going on. And again, I think I mentioned, but it also, the more positive your mindset and the more excited you are about life, the more thrilled you are with what's going on, even it may not be exactly what you pictured, that is going to help the, your brain health and help your physical health. Because these things are all better at your immunity system, your brain cells connect better and everything when you're in a positive mindset, when you're happy, when you're laughing, when you're enjoying this process that is life, as opposed to walking around distressed or re regretting something that's going on. So these are the things that are going to help us move forward from whatever happens as a result of this election, going to help you continue to move forward regardless of what occurs in your life. You have that choice at every given moment of existence as to whether you are witnessing a gift or a curse. If you accept it as a gift and know that it is there for your own good, your better, your betterment, it will be. It will manifest in that direction. This is the way life unfolds. This is the way our spiritual teaching has uh, wants to, us to go forward. As we as practitioners and ministers in this teaching will always go to that direction in that way. Look at what you want, not what you don't want to get you there. 
So that's essentially the message that I have for you tonight. I mainly wanted to bring this forth because the election is in everyone's mind and it's in place right now. It's going to come out one way or another in the next couple of days. And just know that however it does, it is a gift from God to allow your life to move forward in a positive direction and look for the things that you want to see manifested and occur out of that. That's what's going to bring them forth. So that's essentially the lesson for today. What I'd like to do at this point is finish up with a treatment about how we can put our minds into that loca into that place, put our mindsets there and know that the gift is there for us about to be revealed and manifested in our lives right now. And if you have those mindsets, that mindset, if you have that consciousness, you're going to be much better off than otherwise. So let's go now together as I treat for us in this situation. I'm going to put forth a spiritual treatment. I'd like to say it in the first person, but please do make these words your own. And this will be your thoughts, your process. And so know along with me, these thoughts, I know right here and right now in this singular moment of the continuing evolution of time and space that we see as the universe around us, within us, I know that there is one source of manifestation for all that is, one infinite energy, one infinite intelligence, one infinite love that continues to move everything forward in the direction that is needed for life to continue to unfold perfectly. I call this infinite resource God. I know there is one God. I know there is one source. I know that it is always moving forward in my behalf and in everyone else and in everything else that is around me. And I am here and I am right now alive, breathing, and thereby connected to the one source that is God. I am connected to God just by being here. And I know that my thoughts, my actions, my words are going forth and creating an alteration in the universe. And so I choose to always make that alteration to be a positive one, to be in the direction that I want to see, to know that that direction is being motivated by love, by compassion, by harmony, by unity, by caring, by generosity. These concepts continue to move my thoughts forward, and I know that my thoughts are creating the alteration that I want to see in the universe and manifesting the things that I would have right here and right now. My health, my love, my life, my family, all of it is here for my in my behalf for me to love and cherish and know forever that I am one with them. I'm one with all that is, one with life, one with humanity, one with nature. And I know that in that oneness, it is all moving forward in the direction that I would choose to see. And I know that that direction is in my best good. It's positive for me. It's enhancing and nourishing my life, no matter what the immediate impression might be. I know that it is ultimately for my benefit. And I go forth with the confidence that this is occurring on a regular basis, as Reverend Benny Ann has put forth, which we all use. I know that as a result, my life is unfolding perfectly, no matter what. It is always my choice to see the gift. I know the gift is there. I know it is there for me. And I thank God for the awareness of this ability to alter and create the what I would have in the universe for me and for everyone else. And I thank God for the ability to have this connection and this communication with the oneness in order to bring forth those things that I would desire. And I know that as I bring forth those desires motivated by love and a high positive energy, it will be there much more readily for my enjoyment and for everyone else as I see it as I know it, as I realize it, as I recognize it. And I release these words of oneness and connection and perfection to the one God 
to the oneness that is God, to the oneness that is life, knowing that as I say these words and know them to be so and accept them as valid in my life, they are manifest for me right here and right now. And together, if you're with me, we can all close by saying in unison, and so it is. And so it is for this uplifting, midweek uplift, this spiritual moment in our midweek. And we're going to have more of this and more to say and certainly more reflections coming up at our Sunday lesson at 12 noon on this same place that we're looking at now. And hope that you can all be there because by then we should have a pretty good idea of where this election is. And now that we can go into that space that we just talked about of having the awareness and the realization that however this turns out, it's moving us forward in the direction that's going to be a gift and we can see it and we can know it. And that's essentially it for the lesson I wanted to give you tonight. I hope that this has provided some ideas, some uh, outlook in your own self that this is the way to go, not the stress and distress and disappointment that we all from time to time experience. If you see those coming up, stop yourself, look for what you want to see manifested, manifest that, that with the motivation of love and the compassion that we just discussed, and just know that God is now in line with what you want and looking to manifest it right here and right now. And I appreciate everyone for tuning in tonight and hope that if you uh, have any doubts or questions, you can message us through the chat line and we'll be here to treat. That's one of the things that we do as practitioners is if you've got <clears throat> some situation going on that is bringing you that stress and disappointment and you want someone to help reflect on the better way to move forward, that's what we're here to do. So you can email or call the center, and let them know what we can do for you, and we are here to do it. That's why we're here. That's what we do. Appreciate you all being here with us. And that's it for tonight's uplifting midweek moment. Uh, I think it's called a spiritual uplift. <laughs> I'm not certain of the title, but once again, know that life will bring you that which you want. So focus on that, not what you don't want. And so it is. Thank you. God bless and love to all. Good night.